Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about adding fractions. I see a lot of mistakes made about how to actually add them together, and I think that people just don't understand the basic concept behind it. So, to start with adding fractions, we need to first start with how do we add in general in our number line. So let's start with a super easy example. For instance, 2 plus 3. Hopefully, as soon as you saw me finish writing the 3, you immediately thought that the answer was 5. But why? I mean, obviously, yes, it equals 5. We've been doing that for years. You've been taught that since the time you were in kindergarten. But why is 2 plus 3 equal to 5? Well, it turns out both the 2 and the 3 are referring to a common measurement, and it's something that we think in. So, the 2 is in terms of it, and the 3 is in terms of it. The number that they are both in terms of is 1. 2 is 2 ones, 3 is 3 ones. Together they form 5 ones. We think in terms of ones. So it's really easy to say 2 ones and another 3 ones. We just count up and get to 5. So that's adding. We're referring to ones, which is a number smaller than the 2 and 3. We break it down into something smaller than the numbers present, and then we combine. On to fractions. I'm going to use the same numbers, except as a fraction, and they're going to be in the bottom part of the fraction. So, here's where I see the most common mistake. A lot of people, taking what they did from the previous problem, 2 plus 3 equals 5, look at this and immediately assume, all right, well, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 3 equals 5. That is not true. 1 half bigger than two-fifths, and we can't take one-half and add something bigger than one-half and get two-fifths. So, where does the logic break down? Now, think back 30 seconds ago to where I said two plus three both refer to one. Well, both one-half and one-third do refer to one. However, one is bigger than both of these numbers. So with them, these are now the reference numbers. One half is its own measuring stick. One third is its own measuring stick. One's bigger than that. It's taking a smaller piece of one. We wouldn't use a bigger measuring stick to measure something smaller. So this is its own measuring. This is its own measuring. They do not have anything in common with each other. We need to figure out a way to actually make that happen. The easiest way to do that is to get it to where they have the same actual number so that we have the same measuring between them. So we need to think of something smaller than one-half and smaller than one-third that both of them can go into. The easy way to do that is to go to all the least common multiple stuff that you probably just learned and realize that two and three are both going to have the same multiple of six as its least common multiple. Now, to get two and 3 into 6, we have to multiply by different things. To, so to change this fraction into something with a 6 in it, I need to multiply the bottom by 3. If I multiply the bottom by 3, I need to multiply the top by 3. That changes. That's going to be 6 now, and it's going to be 3 over 6. This one is going to be something different, because I need to multiply 3 times 2 to get up to 6, which means the top is going to be 2 over 6. So let me rewrite this now. We have 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Both of these are now using the same measurements of sixths. Now, this is 3 sixths, this is 2 sixths. So just like the numbers before, 2 and 3, we're referring to the smaller number 1, well 1 half and 1 third are broken down into six now. One half is three six, and one third is two six. We take just these numbers, we know that there's three of these six and two of these six. So total number of six, three plus two equals five six. That's how we add fractions. We don't go by the bigger measurement of one. We go by in smaller measurement, which changes depending on the fractions we have. So this is a very simple one. From here you should be able to try and generalize this idea to a lot of different fractions 
and maybe the topic of some further discussions. See you next time.